go, Charlie. Oh yeah, we're talking about Charlie Sheen because since Charlie Sheen has been fired from CBS from, oh, what was that show again? Two and a Half Men. Oh, yes. He's made for himself and his sponsors, you know, the companies that benefit from him, $292 million since he was fired from CBS. Wow. Somebody knows how to make money. <laughs> anyway, maybe they should be reconsidering what they thought about they were doing. Anyway, we're going to bring old Camel with comments on the headlines of today. It's easy to see why the whole nation is behind Obama on his attacks on Libya. Well, yeah, I mean, they, he, they said that he is America's greatest foreign policy president. No president in history of our nation could bring a coalition like he did that brought it together. And the nation is just... The nation, the nation is demanding nation building, and that, that we want Al Qaeda to be the people that build the nation in Libya. And even the people on the left find that to be totally asinine. They said that he's got 50% approval rating for what he did, and his personal approval rating is now the lowest of any president at this time in the history of their, career, of their presidency. So. Ouch. The Taliban claims to have kidnapped 50 Afghan policemen. Well, that probably have. You know, that's what they do is to kidnap people and kill them. Well. <laughs> Nothing. There's no news about that. Except you don't want to be a policeman in Afghanistan or a policeman in uh, Mexico. Plan for mystery mega mansion sparks fear in 90210. Yeah, they, they, I love this. Uh, Geffen, who built a mega mansion against everybody's wishes, is complaining about a mega mansion being built that's bigger than his mega mansion. <laughs> of course. That, I know. They want to build, a, uh, I think, an 89,000 square foot mansion up on, uh, in, um, over by Arnold or something in that area. But they, the land is there and it's the end of a road, so who should really care? It's, not, it's, not, it's basically at, a, at the end of a cul-de-sac, it's a hillside, you've got to build up the hillside. What's the difference? I Except it's a Muslim that's doing it. Oh, who's it for? Uh, they said a member of one of the year, uh, one of the royal, a member of one of the royal families is being attacked over there, like Baran. Oh, Yemen. and they're coming. They're building a mansion over here. Yeah. Uh, Supreme Court to take a huge sex bias suit against Walmart. I know. First of all, they want to include every woman that's ever worked for Walmart in a suit, and the problem is, is that here is the big problem: the majority of Walmart senior management are all women that women are more quickly promoted to senior management positions than men, yet women are suing because we don't have, the, we don't, we're not able to go to management as quickly as males are. The company's ran by women. Um, Which basically the Supreme Court, I heard that thing, let's see, who's the president of the company? Who's the CEO? Who's the chairman? Who are all of these people? And how long, were they hired for those positions to look good? No, they, they worked their way up from the bottom ranks. And they said, the one guy, one of the left people said, in other words, you can start out at the bottom of Walmart and work, work your way up to the chairman of the company. And they said, what are they complaining about? Yeah. Because they occupy almost all senior positions in the company. And then they'd say it's reverse discrimination for the guys then probably. Yep. The males are discriminated because they basically, okay, almost all the Walmart children, guess what sex they are? Females? Yeah. Yeah. And they feel more comfortable working with females, so guess who's getting promoted up the ranks quicker than the males? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Limitless Top's weekend of limited excitement. Yeah, I mean, we're talking $19 million. They said they're not making as much money a week on all top 10 movies as uh, generally as one movie should be making. It's, uh, because it's just like when we used to go to these events before they stopped handling the packaging people said so simply, we can make a sour uh, sow's ear look like a silk purse, but give us a silk purse and we can really get people to come to see it. And there's nothing anybody wants to see out there, period. You know, just one bad movie after another. I mean, most of the movies that they give Academy Awards, none of them want, not, basically none of them made a hundred million dollars, which is the the point that you want to make. Certainly the King's List didn't cost much. It's a television show, folks. Mm -hmm. It's also got another part to it, which will be out next year. Uh, Let's see, uh, Social Network was nothing more than like an HBO movie. Uh, the, the Fighter didn't cost anything to make. None of these movies cost anything to make, but they also didn't make their money back. All of them lost money. India's tiger population increases for the first time in decades. Because people aren't hunting anymore. <laughs> if you're not hunting, then things go up. That's how it works. And because India basically 
is slowing its population growth because they can't afford them. Slower population growth means you cut up less territory. Mm -hmm. Help wanted, 65 million need not apply. Oh, if you got any type of criminal record, basically, out of 65 million people on the rolls of being picked up with marijuana. Oh, really? And if you have that on your on a record, you can't get a job. But then, like, I was listening to one of the reporters talking. Yeah, he said, yeah. He said, if, if, we, if we paid any attention to that, half the people working at this network wouldn't be there. He said, you know what we all do? He said, we're all, we were all teenagers according to the law that has to be expunged from your record. And therefore, if that's on your record, you therefore then sue the area that has it on your record and you basically they have to expunge it from your record and apologize to the world and say that you cannot be denied employment because of their mistake. Ooh. That's how the reporters are doing it. Clinton, U.S. won't intervene in Syria. Isn't that amazing? They said no matter how violent it gets, how many people are killed, we're going to violate the uh, Obama doctrine that says that we will go in to help people that are being killed. That is the Obama doctrine, which uh, tonight he's going to be on television explaining how the Obama doctrine is only the Obama doctrine for people that he really doesn't like. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't personally like them, then the Obama doctrine takes into effect. It's sort of like the Moreau doctrine, which he doesn't believe in, which says that we don't allow people to mess around in South America. But the Obama doctrine says, if it is a Muslim country and I don't like the leader of that Muslim country, I will spend billions of dollars and put America's life in danger because I personally don't like those people. That is the Obama doctrine. That's the only thing that the left and the right can agree on, is he's got a half-assed doctrine. Hmm. Egyptians vote on constitutional change. Okay, you can't have a, what they, the, okay, the people that that have caused all the problems are the ones that caught, held the vote for constitutional change, which means there'll still be an office tomorrow. Um, the, the, it's a military dictatorship. All they did was change one military leader for another military leader. It's all this kind of happening. So, did they make change in that country? No. Have they made, ever made change in that country? No, they've all been military leaders since World War I. Gangs roam Port City. Hmm? Gangs roam Port City. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, that's basically the, in Libya, uh, because what's happening is, uh, like, the, like, the, the, like they ask, uh, who the hell is running the revolution in Libya? Well, we think it's Al-Qaeda. And uh, let's see. Everybody that Al Qaeda has killed is starting to, uh, you know, has blown up their clubs, killed hundreds of people, and the United States. We're all going to recognize Al Qaeda as a legitimate government. And when he does that, I mean, okay, here's a guy, here's a person that's not running for president that is smarter than anybody thinks. Obama wants to get out, totally out of Iraq. He totally wants to get out of Afghanistan. How does he get out of Afghanistan and Iraq next week? How? He recognizes the Al Qaeda as a legitimate government, oh. and therefore, since they're a legitimate government, he's not going to fight uh, representatives of the legitimate government of a nation that's going to be sitting on the UN Security Council. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they said that is Obama as half-assed as people think he is? No, he's figured out how to pull the troops out. The problem is, is I also said one of the papers today. He said the instant Obama pulls that bunch of BS, they'll throw him out of office on his ass. The both parties. What in the, you know, like they, I heard one of the Democrats, one of the Democrats this morning, what the hell is that man doing? Those people, they want to kill us. And he wants to put them, recognize them as a legitimate government. <laughs> yeah. Kickoffs move to 35, touchbacks stay at 20. Oh, this is ridiculous, folks. They, they said it means that there'll be no more runbacks on football games. None. They said that every kickoff will mean that there'll be no run back because the, they, they said what will happen is that you'll just get long legs and like, I mean, I had a short leg when I was kicking. I could do a long time in the air, but what they're going to do is they're going to bring in the kickers that can kick the ball into the end zone and they'll all be touchbacks, which means that every play will be at least five to ten yards shorter. And they said, well, we're doing it to protect people. They said, well, what it does is it puts the quarterback on the field for at least five yards more than he would be. Mm. So instead of protecting the quarterback, they're protecting the guy running the ball back from the kickoff. Oh. And they cost their people there because, I mean, I ran kickoffs back. Why would, it means you can basically put some guy out there that's, you know, 40 years old, has a contract you can't get out of. All he does is he catch the football and puts it down. 
there's, there's no going to be, why would you run a football back? But by the time you hit the football in your hands in the end zone, you're going to see guys that are 400 pounds standing mm -hmm. in your face in the end zone. So you're just going to put your knee down. Basically, it destroys part of the game. Too many people on kickoff are being hurt. And a Monty Bumble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. As a lot of people know, I've, I've busted my ankle. They said, here's a good Monty Bumble. That just because you could stand on a broken ankle doesn't mean you really should. <laughs>